I could not miss this opportunity to talk about self-care when I so obviously have a cold and a voice that does not sound my, like myself. And I'm holding this not as a prop, but because I need it to be able to keep speaking. Okay, so when people say, are you opposed to self-care? And I think, no, I'm not at all opposed to self-care. It's kind of like saying, are you opposed to thirst? And I'm like, of course not. And I'm not opposed to water. I am opposed to answers to thirst that will make it worse, like like salt water. You know, like that's the part where I'm saying, no, like God, God made us with needs and he made us um, with the means to get everything that we need from him. Like he gave us rest, he gave us all these different things. So self-care as the world uses it usually just means um, I'm gonna prioritize me. And that's never a, a Christian's approach. Like when it's time for you to take care of yourself as a believer, you're doing so in obedience to your father. You're not saying me first, or I'm going to take care of me, or I'm the most important. It's, it is obedience of yes, Lord, I will, I will rest. Yes, Lord, I will do this. It is, it is still obedience and it's still doing your duty.